Hi, this is NeedlePointers.com and today I'd like to show you how to put a binding on a pot holder like this. The, this binding is all machine sewn. There, you do, do not have to hand sew it at all. So I like doing this binding for quick and easy projects to get the binding done quickly. In order to do this, you will cut your binding strips a strip two and a half inches wide and you need it long enough to go around the whole pot holder which usually the width of fabric is about should be enough to go around. So after you cut your binding two and a half inches then you just fold it in half and iron it so that it looks like this. To put the binding on we're going to start I, I want to have my loop in this corner and so I'm going to turn this over and start attaching the binding at that corner. So starting from this corner, I'm going to sew straight down. And when I get to the end, edge, end, I'm going to stop. My quarter inch foot here has a marking one quarter inch from the end that if you stop where the fabric ma matches with this notch, that means I'm a quarter inch from the end, end. So then I'm going to turn, make a slight turn, and I'm going to sew into the corner. I'm going to take my fabric out. I'm going to fold it back so that it's a 45 degree angle and then fold the fabric down so that it's even with the top edge there. Now I want to start a quarter inch down from the top. I don't want to stop, start right in the corner. I have to start a quarter inch down. Again, my quarter inch foot has a mark in the back here that shows me one quarter inch from the end. And I'm going to start there and I'm going to back tack. And then I'm going to sew again to the end, stopping a quarter inch. When I get here to the start, I want to flip my starting my fabric out where I started, and I'm going to stop before a quarter inch from the end. So I have it all sewn all the way around. So the next step is to flip the binding around to the front and I kind of pull it around and on each corner I like to push into the corner so it gets nice and corner the corners are nice then we need to cut four inches I just want to leave a four inch tail here that's going to become the loop doesn't have to be exact, but I need it to be around four inches, so I'm going to cut off the extra binding. Next, I want to fold this around, and I'm going to use these binding clips to hold the binding in place while I until I sew it. So I want the binding clip I want the binding to cover up the sewing or the stitch line that I just did. And for right now I'm going to leave the corners undone. If you'd like to purchase these binding clips, you can check the i or click the link in the i card or in the description of this video and there'll be more pictures of this project and also links to these binding clips and other supplies for this project okay to do the corners what we what i do will do is i'm going to be sewing from here i'm going to sew down to the corner so what I always do is I'm going to make a mitered corner by pushing the fabric in and flipping this down 
to make a nice mitered corner. And you just play with it until you can get it lined up nice to get it nicely mitered. And then I can put the clip on there. Now I do it this direction. I always make sure that when I'm sewing, I'm going to sew down and I'm going to sew over the lump, the, uh, the fold. I don't want it to be, I don't want to fold it this way because at this point when I'm sewing down, I might catch this and flip it up as it's sewing. So I try to avoid that so I don't end up having to get, pull it out and stuff, so I fold it this way. I'm going to do three corners. Now, for where you have the, where the loop is going to be, I'm going to take this to the iron and I'm going to fold up the seam allowance here and then fold down this to make a nice finished uh, the what's going to become the loop. I'll be right back. Okay, so you, you can see the it's folded nicely here. So I'm going to start stitching from here. Now, doing this kind of pot holder and this binding gives you the opportunity to use some of your fancy stitches. I like to use this serpentine stitch, which just goes meanders back and forth. I did make it a lot. Uh, I made it longer than you know. I lengthened the stitch length so that it meanders wider. You can uh, test it on a piece of scrap fabric first and get it the way you want it to look before you start. So I'm going to start here and. Go down the whole loop area and then continue around the pot holder. After I take out the clips, I'm going to hold the fabric because sometimes it likes to pop back. When I get to the corner, carefully I'm going to take off the binder clip and sew, keep sewing into the corner. And usually I like to stop when it's on either in the middle or to the right of the stitch. And then turn and continue on. So for the last step, I'm going to make the loop. I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to change to a zigzag stitch that's pretty close together. And then I'm going to zigzag over the raw edge, up, and then I'm going to go back also to reinforce it. So now the pot holder is finished and the binding is on and you didn't have to hand sew any of it. Did you find this video helpful? Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel because we post new videos on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for more free sewing projects and tutorials.